Hi guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. My name is Katrina and today we're going to be taking a close look at Barbie Fashionista 187. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Barbie Fashionista 187, she is the Barbie Fashionista with the hearing aids and I definitely cannot wait to play with this doll. I was so shocked to see her in Target and then on top of that, I got her on sale which I think the sale ends tomorrow, so definitely go to Target. Everything is buy one, get one 50% off. And you should definitely get your hands on the dolls you like right now. So, and also, I want to show you guys her body donor, which is going to be the made to move. Well, she's she's articulated, but she's not fully articulated. But this is the articulated um, yoga doll. And, yeah, so we're going to review her as well. And then we're going to do a little body swap. So, if you guys are interested in that, just keep on watching. Alright, guys. So, we're going to start with looking at Barbie Fashionista 187. Let's go ahead and open it up. From the looks of it, she looks like she has the body build of a curvy doll. Which, you know, I'm kind of sad because I couldn't find a curvy body donor for her if you guys know a curvy body donor for her that will match her skin tone let me know in the comments down below i like her body donor right now but i would like for her to be curvy because the majority of my dolls are curvy so let me know in the comments down below if you guys know a curvy alternative doll for this doll because her skin tone is very um light so i will if you guys find that for me i would greatly appreciate that so let's go ahead and cut her out the package So fresh out the box, she's wearing a high ponytail, and it's really cute. The ponytail touches her middle back, which means her actual hair is probably to her tailbone. And I really like that, and I love her face. She has a pretty face, and she's smiling, and she has a really good screening, no pixelation. I don't see any pixelation in her face, and I really, really like that. And then also, she's wearing a mini dress, with this um, collar right here. It's giving me very much mod cloth. If you guys never shopped on mod cloth, it's kind of like a shop that's very like, like, like kind of like retro um, clothes, like night, like 60s and 70s, but up, more up to date. So pretty much this is giving me very much flower, hippie vibes, 60 vibes. And I really like it because it looks modern, like something something someone will wear today. And I really like that. And she's wearing these clear pink boots that are super cute. They do have detailing on it, but you can't really see it because it's the same color as the boot. I really wish they would have painted it so you could see it better. But, you know, we, us as crafters, we can paint it ourselves. It's perfectly fine. And I just want to show you her points of articulation for now. So she has articulation in the head she can move her head from side to side and back and forward and then she can move her arm out and back and forward and then same thing on the other side back and forward so then she got she has rotation of the hip going to the side up and back and the same thing on the other side up side and back and I really really like that a lot so yeah so she's super cute but the thing is I want more I want her to be more articulated and also one thing that's special about this doll she has hearing aids on both sides of her ears and I really like that because I love the fact that Mattel's recognizing all types of people like there's people that have hearing aids that you know have special needs that this is representing them and showing them as a Barbie so if I was a little girl and I see this doll I would think wow she looks like me and if you know I would want her as my doll so I really love that about Mattel and it makes me feel good in my heart that they are recognizing all to different types of women women that are curvy women that have you know disabilities and all things like that and i've really 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 loved that and i can't appreciate that so let's go ahead and move on to the body we are going to transfer her to because you know for me personally and if you're new to my channel I'll, I'll let you know now i love 
made to move or articulation in my dolls. So she will be getting this body right here. So for her her body that I'm gonna be using on that Fashionista doll will be the Yoga Barbie doll. And I got this doll because this doll is the closest to her skin tone. If you guys want a comparison match for that doll, if you guys have it and you want her more articulated. And she is super cute. I love the stuff she comes with. Let's go ahead and check her out. So here's the doll out of the box. So this is her face right here. She has a really good face screening as well. There's no no pixelation at all. So this can also be a doll play straight out of the box. And if you're a photographer, she'll be a good doll to take pictures of because she has a really good face screen. A lot of doll photographers, we look at the face screen because you know, we have to make sure it's compatible with the phone to take a picture or with your camera to take a picture or face app compatibility, which is an app we use to make the doll smile or give them expressions or give them makeup and things like that. So that's, I think that's super cool. She comes with this fitness outfit that says girl power an abbreviation it says girl power it's half white half pink and then she has like this tie-dye like kind of like a blue purple pink green tights workout tights and then on the bottom it has like a sheer material she's wearing these white sneakers and it's really really cute it reminds me of the Nike Air sneakers and I really like that and she has this beautiful red hair and then she comes with this weight that's on her hand right here and it's super cute the weight does come off and then she also comes with this white watch now if you've seen my mini me she takes all the watches okay because I love a good watch and she looks so cute with her watches so homegirl your watch is about to get take it away <laughs> So yeah, but back to the doll, she has very, very nice hair, and her hair goes down to her, the end of her back right here, when the ponytail is loose. And yeah, so this is the doll, and she comes with a dog that's holding a weight. Okay, so my doll, by Mini Me, she has this kind of dog, so this is a different pose for that dog, so I'm very happy to get this because... You know, if it's the same dog with different poses, I'll take it because it looks like the dog's doing the dog is doing different poses. And I absolutely love that. And then she comes with this workout bag that actually opens right here. And it's super cute. So you can put doll stuff in here, her workout her workout equipment. Speaking of workout equipment, she comes with a hula hoop that you can actually hold because it has the clamp right there. So if you don't have sticky putty to hold the doll stuff, it has a little clamp right here, which I actually do like these when Barbie products have the little clamp right here. I really do like that. So, and also she comes with the weight that she was holding that I showed you guys and also has a holder right here. She comes with a smaller weight that comes with the holder right here. So I'm going to put these in the bag. So you guys so just to show you guys how it can fit in the bag and then she has this big water bottle now the water bottle doesn't have a holder on the side so that would suck for like a child trying to hold the water bottle with their doll but for a photographer you'll put sticky putty or like um sticky dots and it will stick to the doll's hand and then you can just take it off when you're done using it and so i'm gonna put this in the bag as well and then also 
she comes with this yoga mat which is super cute it has a little clamp around it so when you take the clamp out it rolls out to a yoga mat if i was going to use it i would flatten it out for a day because look it's going to roll right back up so definitely if you're going to be using it the day before you use it i would sit it under a book a very heavy book just to straighten it out for the day before I use it or I would just tape it down to the floor and then I'll go ahead and pose my doll on this just as a advice or like a way to do it okay so I'm gonna roll it back up and then once you're done using it you can just put the clip right back on it and there you go I'm gonna tighten it a little more I'm gonna just tighten a little more all right yeah so there we go and it's super cute so this doll my final opinion about this doll is that she's super cute and I love the way she looks so let's go ahead and head swap them so let's go to sync so to switch the dolls heads I'm just gonna place them they're inside this plastic bag so I have both their heads inside this plastic bag now we're gonna go to the stove where we're gonna put them in the boiling water to soften their heads so I'm pretty much gonna let their heads sit in the water for about mm, a minute just until their heads get soft enough to pull from the pegs I just try to carefully pull off the pegs but I stopped doing that because um, I get scared and second of all I broke a peg or two so I find this easier and it just pops straight off so I'm just gonna do this until their heads are soft okay so now we're just going to pop the head off which the head should be easy to pop off now that we had got the peg hot so see how the pegs easily coming out I'm gonna pop that out it's, this is actually way easier than just taking it off so now I'm gonna pop her head off the fashionista's heads are actually softer okay so there she goes with her head off so now we're gonna switch their bodies so I'm gonna go ahead and put her head onto this body just push it in there and there you go she has a new body and then we're gonna go ahead and put this doll on this body right here so let's go back to the front camera so we could talk further about these two dolls all right guys so here's the dolls with the body swap and this doll that i just swapped her with has articulation of the arm the the elbow the hand the leg of the hip and the knee and i really like that and then she still has her head articulation that she can move side to side up and down and I really like that. It's, she's not a made to move, so she doesn't have a wrist joint, I mean, a uh, shoulder joint, which is okay. She doesn't have a feet joint, but that's fine. As long as she's able to sit and she can move her arms, I'm perfectly fine with that. I can do some pretty pictures with her, and I'm very excited to play with her. And if you guys want to see her hairy eggs up close, just to get a closer look, it's like this, and it's on both sides. And it's super it's super nice and i really like the detailing and this doll's so cute i want to name her chloe because she just gives me the name chloe when i see her and then as for my dolls that i put on the fashionistas i end up giving them away to one of my friends she has a daughter and she loves getting my dolls so this is gonna be for her and I don't give my dolls to waste, you know, you shouldn't waste toys. There's kids out there that they would love toys. So I have every doll that I don't use, I end up giving it to my friend's daughter. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Barbie Fashionista 187. And let me know what you guys think of the Barbie Workout doll. Let me know if you guys are planning on buying this doll or if you guys already have this doll. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.